Assalamu alaikum. This is the lecture 2 of Information and Communication Technologies and in this lecture I am going to discuss about some historical developments in the computer science and particularly the development of computers. On top of that there will be discussion about the computer usage in the society, in the present environment and some of the future developments that the computer science has in its back for us. So let's bring so as I mentioned earlier we will start with the discussion of history of computers. So in this section we will take ourselves back to the development of analog computers and its uh, increments over the time. So on top of that we will discuss the computer usage in society and the most important topics of the current uses of computer include the personal and professional life such as education, medicine, careers and leisure activities. And to conclude that we will have some discussion about the computer science field in the current and future prospects. So I will call it a uh, computer as I mean, which means we will look at the past events in a very short amount of time. So computers are basically divided in five different generations. So first generation date back to 1940s when first digital computers or first commercial use computers were developed and they were using large amount of vacuum tubes and walls. They were quite heavy and they were specific for a custom made purpose. Afterwards there was a second generation which was about five years and the computers shifted from the use of vacuum tubes to the transistors. The third generation was after fact of the second generation and it involved large scale integrated circuits which are used in current computers which we use in normal life. So the third and fourth generation are quite uh, amalgam of each other because in the fourth generation as well the large scale integrated circuits were also used but the definition of pause is enhanced to a very large scale and the current usage of uh, uh, computer science is in the fifth generation of development and it is under development and it focuses on the computers which are uh, intelligent and they can make decisions on their own without the human support. So let's look at uh, each of the generation's computers in some detail. So if you look back towards the history, computers were often defined as calculating devices, any device which helped the people to calculate some physical phenomena was termed as computers. So the first computer which was invented in Egypt dates back to 300,000 years before Christ and the name of the computer was the Abacus system. So the Abacus is uh, still in use in some countries especially in China and Japan. It was a calculating device which had several operations such as addition, subtraction, division and multiplication and it also helped the users to extract square root and the cube root. So if you want to know more about the abacus, you can simply google the word abacus and its uh, content will be displayed to you. Then uh, there was major development uh, in the computer or calculating device which ranged back in the 17th century and the first calculating device was named as 
Pascaline and it was invented in 1642. So a Frenchman Blaise Pascal introduced the first mechanical calculating device. So it has a series of wheels with the teeth uh, which could be turned using the hands and it also helped to perform both addition and subtraction. So this was hand operated and this was the first mechanical computing device which helps you to calculate the addition and subtraction of numbers. So as the time goes by, the in the 1890s, the Herman Hollerith American inventor developed devices that were able to read information which had been punched into the cord automatically. So he developed a machine called the census machine and this machine was capable to read numbers, characters and a special symbol. So remember that it is only 130 years back. So still these machines were not digital and they were analog and the information is fed using some hard coded mediums. So this leads us to the first generation computer in which we typically classify a machine as a computer system. So the first machine was built in 1944 and it was named as Mark 1. And two scientists from Manchester, Howard Aikens and Grace Hooper, developed an electromechanical machine at IBM. And it was called Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator. So, so the term computer and calculator was used interchangeably. So it was capable to read numbers, characters, and special symbols. And it was very large amount of, uh, it was very heavy system, it weighs about 4500 kilograms. And it used a lot of components, uh, around uh, 0.8 million and hundreds of meters of wires to connect components with each other. So it was a, like a large room. Another similar device was developed in 1946 and it was termed as ENIAC the first general purpose electronic computer. So again, in any extent for electronic numerical integrator and computer. So as in the first generation, it used the vacuum tubes, crystal diodes, transistors and capacitors and they were hand solder yours. So the real development started in 1940s and after few years the scientists were able to develop a personal computer and the first uh, attempt was in the 1965 and a program database or data processor was developed and it was the first commercially successful microcomputer because it sits on a desktop and it was available for a wide variety of customers. So after the development of the processors, the development in the computer science grew rapidly. So in the 1971, Intel, the famous uh, architecture development in the computers, the first commercially available microprocessor was deployed and it was 4 bit computer containing 2300 transistors and it has an average speed of 60,000 instructions per second and it was designed to use in a calculator and the price was quite feasible but still quite uh, expensive about $200 in 1971. Then the major development came in the 1976 which we recall as the Apple One computer and it was developed by the Steve Wozniak and the Steve Jobs. It was less expensive and less complicated and users must connect their own keyboard and video display to use this computer and it was very small computer as compared to the previous ones and it has the option of mounting the computer, motherboard, 
in any container they choose. So they had the option to choose from a metal case, a wooden box or a briefcase. So as the year goes by, the 1981 marked the first development of a portable computer named Osborne 1. So at that time, the size and the weight of the computer was equivalent to a sewing machine. So which was about 22 pounds and it has 64 kilobit, kilobytes of the RAM and it has 5 inch monitor but it did not have the hard drive and it was quite expensive selling around 17 to 1800 dollars. However, it was a huge success in the development of portable computers. So after that, the development started uh, rapidly and in 1984, Apple Macintosh computers became the first successful personal computers with a mouse and an easy to use graphical user interface. So these were the first computer which had the screen to manipulate with the mouse. So in the same time, Intel releases the 80386 processors, also called the 386 processors, which were 32-bit processors that can address more than 4 billion bytes of memory, which is equal to 4 gigabyte. So in the same time, Microsoft also announced the Windows environment, uh, which we are using today. So it also featured the first graphical user interface as with the uh, Macintosh computer for PCs mirroring the interface found in the previous year. In the same time, other companies also introduced a number of uh, devices. For example, HP, a famous company for development electronic devices, introduces the laser jet printer featuring 300 density pixel per inch resolution. So in 1986, the first international conference on CD-ROM technology is held in Seattle, hosted by Microsoft. In 1989, Intel releases the upgraded version of 8.0 processor and it, this time they released the 8.0486, which was quite widely used in the early 90s and in the early 2000s as well. In the same years, the famous World Wide Web WWW was created and the CERN laboratories for the use by the scientific researchers. Microsoft also introduced a famous program, Microsoft Word, for Windows to write documents. In the 1992, the internet became the world's largest electronic mail network. IBM introduces its ThinkPad laptop computers, which were quite famous in those days. In 1995, Intel released Pentium processors and Microsoft released Windows 95 operating system, which was a huge success. There was a famous uh, browser named Netscape Communications and it accounted about 80% of the WWW traffic which was a startup company in 1995 and it led to uh, around 2.9 billion uh, value in one year. Sun Microsystems created the Java development language which helped the programmers to write custom programs. A number of other companies such as eBay was found, which was the premier online auction house. In 1998, Microsoft released the updated version of Windows 95 named as Windows 98 operating system, and Apple Computer releases the colorful iMac books and all in one system geared to a youthful market. In 1999, Intel unveils the Pentium 3 processor, which features 95 9.5 million transistors. So, in the 2000s, Microsoft introduces Windows 
2000. It was the biggest commercial software project ever attempted involving 5000 full time participants and the final product included over 30 million lines of code. So in 2001, Microsoft released the Windows XP operating system and it was a huge success in the early 2000s. And even in the 2010s, a lot of people used the Windows XP. And apart from that, XP version of Microsoft Office was also unveiled, which was quite prevalent till the current era. Several versions of uh, recordable DVD discs Android produced, named as uh, DVD writables and DVD read uh, random access memory. Apple introduces operating system X. Also, iPod was introduced with 5 GB internal hard disk. In 2003, Microsoft launched the MS Office 2003. Again, it was a huge success and more than 400 million people in 175 nations and 70 languages are being used in this version of Office. And the latest operating systems include support for the wireless fragility and the Bluetooth standard. Before that, there were no support for such communication mediums. And wireless keyboards were introduced, mouse devices were introduced, home networks and wireless internet access points became common. USB flash drives were also produced, flat panel LCD monitors were also part of this uh, these years and smartphones overtake the personal digital assistants as the personal mobile devices of the choice. So in 2005, the Apple releases the latest version of iPad, uh, iPod Portable and Microsoft introduced the Visual Studio 2005 which was quite widely used for the development of Microsoft products. Microsoft releases the Xbox 360 in the same year and blogging and podcasting became mainstream due to the advent of different blogging websites and mainly YouTube. In 2006, Sony launches its PlayStation 3. Google becomes the most used search engine capturing 54% of the market share, introduces upgraded versions of processors are named Core to Duo and IBM produces the faster supercomputer called Blue Gene L. In 2007, Microsoft Windows Vista operating system is introduced and Intel introduces Core to Quad processors. Apple introduced iPhone 3 and sells about 270,000 phones in first two days and in 2008 online social networks continue to grow in popularity and different mediums such as myspace facebook computers are most widely used youtube continues to gain users and ymax goes live which helps to access videos music voice and video calls over but wherever and whenever desired and the average download speed was about 2 to 4 MB per second. So after uh, going through the development of uh, computer in history, let's discuss the usage of computers in today's society. In today's society, computers or in other terms, information technology is the usage of technology that helps to produce, manipulate, store, communicate and disseminate information and the computer technology in along with the information technology helps to do the same. So if you look at the impact of the computer or com information technology on the society, it, you will clearly see the difference that this technology has impacted the society to a larger amount than any other recent development because it has changed the work and the layer activities because computer is so much 
seamlessly embedded in our lives that our work environment are quite dependent on the computers even our leisure activities have changed from the physical to the virtual and apparently the computer is used by all demographic groups that means many people or majority of people are able to use computer instead of any other development computers are also important because uh, they provide information to users unless any other technology such as development of uh, automobile is not useful for all the users and if you look at the information which is critical to our society therefore computers are more important and it is argued that the managing information is difficult therefore computers are essential for the survival of the society in today's world so let's look uh, briefly at the implications of computers in today's society in different walks of life for example let's take the example of education and in a renowned survey it is reported that about 99% of universities in Pakistan have internet access and majority of university students also own their own computers similarly 80% of students use the internet for four or more hours per week so this is quite uh, observant in the current education sector because most of the educational mediums have shifted from the uh, traditional mode to the education learning mode which is dependent on the computer technology there are numerous benefits of computers in health for example in advanced stages there are robots which permits precise microsurgery which were unable uh, which doctors were unable to do before the advent of computers and there are numerous examples of computers in use for uh, health in daily life for example many handheld computers allow patients to measure their blood sugar level or even their blood pressure level there are uh, countless health websites which provide medical information there are biological and computer sciences advancement which will combine new ways to insert microprocessors or controlled devices on human body so you can compare this example with the current notorious analogy uh, with the bill gates uh, concept of planting chips in humans so computer have also impacted the usage of money because in current uh, environment the money is virtual and it is created simulated and carried on by the means of computers or a computer network there is uh, for example if you are using internet banking or other online bill paying application you can see that you do not have to physically move money from one place to another and there is no physical existence of money and even there are virtual money accounts such as electronic uh, payroll deposit system and the famously the online account paypal example so computers also affected the use of telephone uh, from its advent so in 2006 Nokia estimated about 2 billion mobile phone subscribers and uh, computers have impacted those mobile phones and in today's environment the cell phones are mobile and they are powerful as the advanced personal computers there are also implication of computers in internet and world wide web which is uh, internet is a connected system of servers that support specifically formatted documents in multimedia form the www is the multimedia part of the internet and it includes text images moving images such as videos and sound 
the www or multimedia is the responsible for growth and popularity of the internet computers have also some effect on the uh, term cyberspace or in the creation of cyberspace it is described as a futuristic computer network which describes people plugged into directly with their brains so that means what your brain thinks uh, you ex you explain those things in the computer environment so these are some uh, examples for example you can see there are numerous chat rooms available uh, there are online diaries such as blogs where you can see the uh, the actual life of many people who use the blogging websites or video logging websites and there are wide and wireless communication world computer also have the usage in layers for example there is increased development in the video games and downloading of music movies and ebooks and most of the movies use the computer animation as well which was not possible before the development of computers and there are so many tools available for the digital editing of the layers activity computers are also quite prevalently used in the jobs and the careers for example office careers uh, you will need the computers to develop budget payroll letter writing or email usage teaching also employs the use of computers for example there are automatic grading system the one you are using and uh, the cms and emailing and distance teaching which we are currently using computers are also used in fashion such as sales and inventory control system ordering and managing of personnel these computers are also used for job hunting the use of word processor to create resumes post resumes online and online job searches so in today's environment i think computers are used in almost every field of life so can you think of a career that does not require computer skills so take some time to think about the uh, professions which do not require computer skills so let's briefly look at the development in today's and some of the prospects in the future related to computer development so in another survey it is reported that about uh, 100000 new websites are created per month on the internet and there are more than 50% of us households which are online this number is uh, quite less in pakistan but it is increasing at a rapid rate and uh, the in the us the access to internet is available throughout the country and eventually the access will be global so if you look at the simple impact of in the development speed which can be elaborated in these 70 years for example in the 1940s the first computer was built and it was quite large and it has very low processing if we move 16 years forward the first hard disk drive was produced and it weighed about a ton and stored only 5 megabytes in 1991 the development saw a space shuttle had 1 megahertz processor only in 2006 we had the pocket devices which hold 1 terabyte of the data instead of 5 megabytes in 1956 with 1 ton weight similarly if we move again in 2006 from 1991 where space shuttle had 1 megahertz of computer 
in the 2006 simple cars or automobiles had the 100 megahertz computer and if you talk about the processing in 2014 an online ordering system um, such as um, aliexpress or alibaba reported about a system that can process 5 million orders in one second so you can see the impact of computers in today and the future so now it is evident that computer is used uh, in every field of life and it has some impact on the society in one way or another so let's briefly look at the new developments which are closely related with the human society or in the personal use and one of the famous example is the usage of blog the world is made up from web blog and blog can be used in the textual images and video form. It began as an outlet for amateurs who want to express ideas or creativity. The blogs are quite appealing because they present personal views and some people are expressive and funny and creative and the blogs present a quirky view of perspective on current events. Blogs are used as alternative to mainstream news channels and for business public relationships. Blogs are often mixed with video sharing which uh, includes the rise of immature videos on the web. And there is a boom of websites like YouTube, Facebook and more laterly the TikTok and many, many videos on the web uh, can infringe copyrights owned by the entertainment companies therefore these videos are removed regularly on such platforms. There is also new development of social networking and the first online social networking site was www.classmates.com in 1995 and with some developments the another popular uh, social networking medium was found in 2003 it was myspace network and it had roughly 100 million members uh, profiles by 2006 however it is obsolete and facebook has taken uh, its place facebook was started at harvard university as an online version of student directories and it is now a giant in the social networking application. There is also development in the e-commerce and free stuff available over the internet. Free stuff is available on the internet is the accessibility to emails, number of books, newspapers, games, etc. For example, Amazon.com started in 1994 and these e -commerce, uh, this e-commerce website has reported the annual sales reaching about 24 billion in 2009. There are numerous e-book stores available online and e-books are now 10% of the book sales but more than 50% for some best-selling best titles. And you must be aware that there are so many TV shows episodes which are available on the view for free access. The current development and the future prospects have implication in the artificial intelligence, robotics, learning and motion. The artificial intelligence can solve a number of expert and difficult tasks where human involvement is quite difficult. Again, robotic devices can often be used for special, purpose, uh, special purposes and it may require artificial intelligence to function properly. Machine learning methods and algorithms enable adaptive systems in current society. And there are also some development in the tools for disabled people. 
such as principles held for the restoration of abilities, productivity, and independence. For example, uh, implantation of limbs or other uh, other mechanical devices which involve the computer, such as uh, automatic control, automatic control wheelchair. There are uh, tools for uh, for disabled people such as screen readers who are unable uh, or who have a weak weakened vision and scanners and there are some tools for speech recognition and motion sensors uh, to help the elderly and disabled people for their movement so in the conclusion we can summarize the development of computers in different directions for example if we look at the development of computers we ident we can identify there are three dimensions in which computer development is progressing first of all we have seen that computer uh, over saw a large development in the size for example the Early computers were quite large and the current computers are quite small or even hand held. So the first direction of computer is the miniaturization. That means with time computers are getting small and small. At the same time we are moving in the direction of speed. As you can see in the history, computers were quite slow, and with the time, you were expected to have higher speed. So, that is the second direction of computer development. And thirdly, we had the affordability. In the earlier years, computers were only made for large organizations or even only for the research purposes. But as the time progressed, the computers were made affordable for general purpose and for general population. So if you look at the development of other side of information technology, which is communication development, which focuses again on three directions. First of all, it requires uh, it wants to have more connectivity. For example, the individual computers in the past were unable to connect with each other and in the current and in the future development, the scientists or even the users want to have the enhanced connectivity in which you will require all your devices are connected with each other. Secondly, the focus is on the interactivity. That means there is so much enhanced uh, need for the interaction between computers and between users and the computers. Similarly, if you look at the development, you can see there is uh, progress in the multimedia development and its communication. For example, if you look uh, in the, the, the history, the initial computers were only able to process small bit of information. Then this information uh, moved to textual form and then computers were able to send information in uh, graphical form and then there was multimedia including visual representation of moving objects. So all in all, there is so much there is so much progress in every listed direction. Let's take a pause here and uh, think about the changes and the new developments uh, which you expect in the next 50 or even next 20 years in the field of um, computer science. And what can you think that how will the life be different than it is today.
so can the technology take over the human society which is a quite difficult question to answer so if you want to read more about the topic you can go through the selected uh, topic in the different recommended books or you can search online to identify further information or you, if you have any question you can ask me through everything at the medium or you can contact a question and answer session thank you very much